Hey guys, Kirk here from Acid Byte. Uh, today, this video is going to be for the Avid Media Composer users. Uh, what I want to do is basically go through and show you how to use all of our products, anything that has to do with blend modes in Avid Media Composer. So, you can see I've already set up a project here with a piece of footage in it, okay? Uh, the first thing you have to do in Avid is actually make it possible for yourself to access things like composite and blend modes because Avid does not have this accessible by default. But you guys are in luck because there is a free plugin that you can download called Blend X. Uh, it's free, but it is actually um, donation based. So if you want, you can show some love there. But basically you need to download this for whichever operating system you have, and then you'll be able to use our products. So I'm gonna go into my assets bin here, and from there I'm gonna go into the source browser, into my assets folder, and I'm just gonna grab some things for this tutorial. I'm gonna use some of our overlays and link those real quick. So for this tutorial, I'm linking some of our Cine Markers assets. That's a pack that we make, Cine Markers. Uh, and this will work the same way for any of our other asset packs. So from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new layer. Uh, I'm gonna go and find one of the assets and drag that into that new layer. Uh, also, our assets do come with sound effects, but for now, I'm just gonna leave that out. And then I wanna go into the effects controls panel. And you can see I've already got Blend X installed here, so I'm just gonna use this one. And now you'll see that you have the option to change blending modes. So out of the box, the asset looks like this, right? Like there's a solid black background on here. But now if I go into the effects editor and I start playing with the blending mode, I can change that. So if I use screen, for example, it's gonna make the black transparent. Um, another option that's always really cool is the blending mode difference because that really plays with the colors of the image quite a bit. And so that's basically how you're going to interact with most of our assets uh, through the blending modes. You know, screen is going to be a big one for film burns, um, difference, you know, always interesting, sometimes multiply. Uh, even our other assets like the film borders, you know, this is always going to be relevant. But basically this gives you those control options. So we invite you to download our free sample pack and give some of this stuff a shot. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for downloading. And I'll see you next time.